Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us this Sunday. Uh, my name is Athena, and I will be helping lead today's service portion. A little bit about Sanctuary Church for those who may not have joined us before. Sanctuary is a 508C1A faith-based organization. We use psilocybin mushrooms as a sacrament to connect us to divinity. It is our sincere belief that the consumption of psilocybin containing mushrooms is a communion which brings us closer to what is commonly called God. We understand this concept as pure consciousness, which permeates all being. This pure consciousness is, we believe, the ineffable source of creation and the origin of health and well-being. Our faith in sacred mushrooms stems from prehistorical use by our ancestors and personal experiences of our modern members. It is our belief that psilocybin containing mushrooms are one of the greatest sacraments that nature offers, raising our awareness so that we can access a direct connection to this life. We should not be mistaken for a medical or therapeutic organization. We encourage anyone facing trauma recovery or mental health issues to work in conjunction with a psychiatrist, psychologist, or accredited therapist. Our objective is to help and support you in reconnecting with the universal source of healing, your own divine spirit. As we get ready to begin today's service, we ask that you mute your mics if they are not muted already. We want to let you know this meeting is being recorded, which if you have any questions around, feel free to reach out privately. A portion of this service, we will invite you to journal. Now's a good time to grab a notebook and pen if you'd like to participate in that. And please do, if possible for you, find a comfortable space where you can relax and be present for the service. The service portion of our gathering is around 30 minutes of silent participation on your part. During which time we'll begin with a short meditation. We'll read the poem which the church has adopted as our acknowledgement of oneness with all that is, titled A Litany of Gratitude. A reading from our rotating text, along with an opportunity to journal your thoughts around the reading. A reading from our main text, the Tao Te Ching. And after that, we'll bring the official service to a close. From there, we'll move into an optional discussion period, which we've allowed 90 minutes for until noon Eastern, and do invite you to participate if you feel called. Just one second. With that, welcome, and thank you for joining our sanctuary community and celebration. As we begin our statement of faith, we recognize that this statement does not exhaust the full extent of our faith. We believe that sacred mushrooms are a primary source of personal and divine revelation. We seek counsel from the mushroom to find direction and inspiration in our faith practice. And we believe that all individuals who seek true revelation from divinity can do so. I invite Debbie to lead us in our meditation this morning. Good morning, everyone. I want to welcome you to a meditation to connect the body and soul together. And I invite you to take a journey with me. Please take a moment to relax your body. Feel as you breathe in any tension that you have in your forehead, your jaw, your shoulders, your arms, your abdomen, your upper legs, your lower legs, and down to your toes. Soften your blue brown, green, hazel, gray eyes. Let those eyes look down, closed or open, looking into yourself, deep within yourself. Think of the trials and the tribulations you have gone through. 
take a moment to think of the lessons learned. The seed of you planted on earth, as all of us, you and I, as we began this journey, do you remember when you were new? Take a deep breath. Your feet barely touched the ground. Remember, you ran, you skipped, you danced, you sung, because life on earth had just begun. The stars to shine down for all to see. The quiet night keeps us all company. For we are never truly alone, are we? For you and I will travel together forever within where we are all connected. Now take a mighty breath in, deep into your abdomen, down to your spine, and breathe out as though your breath is traveling around the world. Let's do that again to a count. Breathe in for four, one, two, three, four. Hold for two, one, two. Breathe out for five, one, two, three, four, five. Pause and feel how our breath is connected to each other, how our soul is connected to our breath. The world has changed in this lifetime we have seen vast changes. We are more globally connected. For I don't remember being so full as a new human being. Feel how you are so connected today in a different way than when you were a new soul. Think of all the wonderful experiences you have had. A concert where the music filled every cell of your body. Think of a time you witnessed new birth, whether it was a chick breaking out of its shell, a newborn baby taking its first breath. Maybe there was a time that you have fallen in love. And then you needed to fall in love again. Breathe in deeply. Life is breath. Exhale. Take a breath with me of rainbow light. As you breathe in, imagine breathing in a whole rainbow and feel the colors infiltrate your body from the base of your spine up through your sacral chakra, your lower abdomen, the yellow into your solar plexus, the green into your heart, the blue into your throat, the purple into your forehead, your third eye, and the white for your crown. Breathe this in. This is connecting spirit, soul, and body. Feel it embodying all the way through again from your head to your toes. And in one last breath, 
cycle. Let's breathe deeply at the count of four down to our spine and imagine that energy traveling down from your lungs to the base of your spine. One, two, three, four. Hold for two. And as you breathe out, imagine that breath going up your spine, out your crown, as though you're massaging every inch of your spine. I invite you to now begin the process of bringing yourself back to service. Take some just normal breaths. Loosen your eyes if they've been closed. And welcome back. Thank you, Debbie. Now I'd like to just take a moment to acknowledge those of our ministers going through our subtle sacrament program and anyone in our community who is cultivating sacrament, gauging in sacrament, sending them love and gratitude. going to begin our litany of gratitude this morning. I invite you to unmute your, your mics if you'd like and join me when I say we live in all things, all things live in us. We live by the sun, we feel by the moon, we move by the stars. We live in we live all, all things, all things, all things, things live, live in us. us. We eat of the earth, we drink from the rain, we breathe of the air. We, we live, live in all things, all things, all things live in us. In us. <laughs> we call to each other, we listen to each other, our hearts deepen with love and passion. We, we live in all, in all things, and all, all things, things live in us. In us. We depend on the trees and animals. We depend on the earth. Our minds open with wisdom and insight. We live, we live, in, live in all things. things. All, all things, 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 things live in, live in us. us. <laughs> we dedicate our practice to others. We include all forms of life. We celebrate the joy of living and dying. We, we live, live in all, all things. things. All, All things, things live in us. us. We are full of life. We are full of death. We are grateful for all beings and companions. We live in all. In all. all things live in us. Thank you, everyone. If you would please resume your mute. And begin moving into our first reading this morning with the help of Connor. Hey everyone. This is The Secret Tradition of the Soul by Patrick Harper. Let's paraphrase. Western confusion. Having trouble hearing you. Oh, am I not coming through? It's just really, really. There we go. How's that? There you go. Sorry about that. Thanks. Western confusion around traditional views of the soul originates from two beliefs. First is our difficulty with literal versus metaphorical depictions. Because we live in a highly literal minded society, something is either fact or fiction, true or false. And we think that traditional societies are the same when in fact their beliefs are more like what we call metaphors. They do not believe that people and leopards are interchangeable. 
But at the moment I say this, I, ca I contradict myself. For there is a sense in which all the traditional beliefs are very much held in a literal fashion. The truth is not that traditional people just do not make the distinctions that we do. Their thinking precedes any division between the literal and the metaphorical. They are not bothered by apparent contradictions. The shadow is both an optical phenomenon and a soul. The sorcerer in his hut and the leopard in the forest are the same being in different shapes. Their reality is a combination of fact and fiction, what we call myth, a word unfortunately identified by us as untrue. Secondly, we have prioritized our bodies and soul to such an extent that, as a tribesperson might say, we have allowed our souls to stray so far from our bodies that we are in danger of losing our souls altogether. Our bodies are therefore left to wander the earth like zombies who tell themselves that there never was such a thing as a soul and that we must simply grin and bear our inanimate condition. Thank you, Connor. We'll now take a moment to reflect on this reading. If you have your journal nearby, we have some journal prompts this morning. How do you experience paradox? Are you able to hold opposite beliefs or experiences simultaneously? If so, how is this integrated into your spiritual practice? If not, what challenges prevent you from being able to do so? It'll take about five minutes.
like to begin finishing up your thoughts. We'll be moving into our next reading. The paradoxical nature of life and its mysteries are best experienced through the ineffable space we find in our communion with the mushroom. For more than 2,000 years, the Tao Te Ching has provided guidance and instruction for exploring the paradox of existence. It is for this reason that we employ the Tao Te Ching as our primary sacred text and invite all to study it further as you delve deeper into the mystery of life. Charles. Tao is always nameless. Small as it is in its primal simplicity, it is inferior to nothing in the world. If only a ruler could cling to it, everything will render homage to him. Heaven and earth will be harmonized and send down sweet dew. Peace and order will reign among the people without any command from above. When once the primal simplicity diversified, different names appeared. Are there not enough names now? Is this not the time to stop? To know when to stop is to preserve ourselves from danger. Mm. The Tao is to the world what a great river or an ocean is to the streams and brooks. Thank you, Charles. All right, today we get to acknowledge our newly ordained ministers, Eric. Yeah, Athena, I just sent you a note. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't have the list in front of me and Courtney is inaccessible at the moment. So I, I don't have the list of folks to okay. name off. So I apologize for that, everybody. We've got six or so uh, friends and family ministers. Um, so maybe we'll have to hold that for next week but uh, i don't want to miss anybody out i can only <laughs> excuse me so my apologies that's quite all right thank you to everyone who's gone through those programs it's really a blessing okay announcements with amy good morning everybody so this week we have two virtual sessions led by members for members only um, virtual workshops this week include Tuesday at 6.30, 3.30 Pacific, 6.30 Eastern, Internal Family Systems with Deborah, and Saturday at 10.30 Eastern, Sanctuary Book Club with Susan and Jason. And John has strep throat today, and he won't be able to do his posture class, um, so I guess we can all send him healing vibes. Um, you can find all upcoming members workshops in the members only virtual events calendar page in your member portal. If you're interested in leading a members only virtual workshop, please reach out for a link to our leadership application. And in Kentucky, this Wednesday, Christina will be hosting a mind body connection session from six to eight at Clifton Universal Unitarian Church on Payne Street off Frankfurt Avenue. At this circle, we will offer a space and guidance for gentle, intentional movement, Reiki, sound bath healing, meditation, journaling, and sharing. Please wear comfortable clothes, bring a journal, paper, and pen, and any items to make your experience more relaxing, like a yoga mat, cushion, pillow, blanket. This circle is open to members and non-members alike. For all details and to register, please see our events calendar on sanctuary.org. And applications are open for our late July to September cohort of Subtle Sacrament, Cultivation, Myself, and Friends and Family Minister programs. Becoming an ordained minister gives our members the fundamental education, greater protection, and continuous support to administer sacred mushrooms to ourselves and friends and family who are also official members. If you will have been a member for four weeks by the program start dates, you can submit your application until July 9th. We are so honored and grateful to now have over 80 ordained ministers within our community, and we're just getting started. You can find 
links to apply at sanctuary.org or in your member portal. And that's all for today. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome. All right, fundraising with James. Hey, everybody. Uh, as always, first, a huge thank you for all of the support, all of the energy that you've been giving. I Over 80 ministers now. You think about a year ago, uh, there, there were none. So it were really starting to become a large enough and significant enough group to have a real impact on the world and then really do some good in some major ways. And that's because of everybody here individually showing up each week. Uh, all of these member uh, events and activities and discussions and just friendships are the fundamental aspect of what a church is and how it builds over time. So just so thrilled that you're all here. I, I want to make sure uh, that everybody who's paying dues is, is thanked for it. Uh, if you're unaware, there's a $35 level where you have access to a lot more groups uh, and ongoing conversations. I take a look at the website for that. It's important. Uh, as we hit this scale, we're going to have to start flexing ourselves and seeing what we can do to impact things a little more and reach more people. Uh, and I'd love to, to talk to more of the ministers. I've, I've chatted with some here and there about their own journeys, what they're looking to do and how they're looking to grow over time. I, but obviously, the more all of you grow, the more success you all have, the more sanctuary will grow uh, and the more impact sanctuary can have. So. I would love to chat with any of you uh, in any capacity, and I know that there's some really huge things coming up directly through Sanctuary as well. So keep an eye on all the emails, keep an eye on all the messages. If you're not in the Discord, check in once or twice a week, see what kind of conversations are going on there. There's so, so much growing, and it, it's for everybody, and it's because of everybody who's who's here this week. I know, I'm sure I'm, I'm talking to the choir, but... Uh, sometimes that's important too, to sort of double down, you know, we're about halfway through the year uh, and it can be good to check in and reflect on just how much progress has been made uh, and, and to, to start and to wonder how much progress could be made over the next year, right? So really, really looking forward to everything and watching everybody uh, flourish so beautifully every week. Thank you all. Thank you so much, James. And thank you. <clears throat> Membership with Stephen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We have eight new members representing six states. We have Lee from Florida, Angela from Tennessee, Kurt from Florida, Jason from California, Griffin from Maine, Lisa from Missouri, Silver from Kentucky, and Tara from Florida. So welcome, everybody. Yes, welcome. And if you are not yet a member and would like to learn more, you can visit our website at sanctuary.org um, and the five-step membership onboarding process. All right, with that, I will close us out. We've come together with intentions of service to the land and all its inhabitants. It is in our hearts to go forth into the world with the collective consciousness. We encourage you to stay for continued fellowship and conversation around our readings today. And for those unable to stay, we thank you for being with us. As we further our conversation, please remember all perspectives are welcome as we search for the spiritual truth that unites us all. Much love to you all.